These uniquely stuffed peppers are a must must try. They have lovely textures and flavors like nothing you have tasted before. We all like stuffed peppers whether it is stuffed with potatoes or fish paste or whether it is shallow fried or deep fried like pakoras. But this one is none of it. First of all, the stuffing has proteins, carbs and tons of flavor. And then we bake boil it with another ingredient which adds even more flavor. Watch the full recipe to see what that is. Also, this is a two-in-one dish which means we have two dishes for the effort of one. Watch the video till the end to see how that is. Also, please do like this video if you like the recipe and do subscribe to our channel. We have unique, easy, tasty recipes coming out every week. You do not want to miss it. So click the bell icon so you know when it is out. In a pot, heat two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. One slightly hot, add in six cloves of garlic finely chopped and one medium onion finely chopped and cook for five to six minutes or until the onions have softened. Then I'm adding in one and a half cups of rice that I've washed well and drained. We'll cook this for two minutes on medium heat, stirring occasionally. Frying rice like this will give fluffy, non-sticky rice at the end. After 2 minutes, we will have 400 grams of boneless, skinless chicken thigh pieces that I've cut into tiny cubes. We need to cut it into really small cubes because then it's easier to stuff it in. Also adding in 1 medium sized potato cut into tiny cubes, 1 tablespoon of store bought pepper paste, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, half a teaspoon chicken masala powder or garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix it all well and cook for a minute. And then we'll add in one cup of chicken stock. Mix it nicely, then cover it with a tight fitting lid and cook over low heat for 10 minutes or until the liquid has been absorbed. After the 10 minutes, give it a mix. Make sure that the bottom has not burnt. The rice would be about 20% cooked here. Switch off the gas and taste to see if you need more salt. The chicken stock would also have salt, so add salt as required, along with one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Mix this and let it cool down while we prep our peppers. So here I have 7 to 8 long green peppers washed and dried. I've cut the tops off and I'm going to reserve it to use it as well. Now to remove the seeds of these peppers, you can use the back of a small sized spoon. Turn it around lightly, it will easily come off. Then you can just tap it to remove all the seeds inside. You can even use a chopstick to remove any leftover seeds. We will do the same with all the peppers. Now that we have our hollow clean peppers, we will stuff these with our rice chicken potato stuffing. Now there are different methods you can do this in. One is to fill it in using a small spoon. A small size spoon makes this process so much easier. Keep tapping it so filling goes into the bottom. Once you have filled to 3 4 you can use a chopstick to press it down. Do not fill the stuffing till the top as the rice needs room to expand. You can even use the back of the spoon to press down the stuffing once filled. Now the third and the most effective way is to put one spoon of the stuffing, then use the back of the chopstick to press it in and then pour another spoon and repeat. This is a little more time consuming but will definitely get the stuffing to all the corners. Again, do not fill it till the top, leave some space above for the rice to expand and fill that space when cooked. Now that all our peppers have been filled, it's time to cook it. Lay these filled peppers in a deep pan so they fit snugly in a single layer. Place the tops of the peppers, pour in one tablespoon of olive oil and three fourth cup of chicken stock. Place the plate over the top to gently weigh them down. Cover with the lid and cook on low heat for 45 minutes or until the peppers are tender and the filling is cooked. 
The plate will be hot, so be careful while removing it. Our stuffed peppers are now ready to eat. You can see how tender the peppers are and the rice is so perfectly cooked. Take the peppers out to serve. As you can see, the rice has fluffed up and come up till the top. This is why you need to fill the peppers just three-fourths of the way up. We cannot make just a small amount of filling or stuffing. The texture and the flavor wouldn't really be the same. But don't worry, we're not going to waste any of the stuffing. We'll make a very flavorful rice from it. Just see how. To the remaining oil and chicken stock, we will add the rice, chicken and potato stuffing. Pour another one cup of chicken stock, give it a good mix, cover and cook on low heat for 30 minutes until the liquid has been absorbed and the rice is completely cooked. As you see here, rice is cooked to perfection. It's fluffy and it is not sticking together, which is exactly how we want the rice. Our peppers are tender to the touch. They are so soft, they will just melt in your mouth. And along with the perfectly cooked rice and the flavorful chicken and potatoes, it's just a bomb of textures and flavors in your mouth when you eat it. The rice itself is so, so flavorful. It's even got the flavor of those peppers, making it uniquely tasty. You can have the stuffed peppers by itself, you can have the rice by itself or have the two together for a very very filling and satisfying lunch dinner. Hope you liked this two-in-one recipe. If you did, do let us know in the comments if you would like more recipes like this. Have a wonderful rest of the week and I will see you very soon.